All right, in this video, I'm going to be tying up Burt Dillon's shad fly. It's also sometimes called the uh, Chesapeake Bay Chesapeake Bay shad fly. Uh, it was developed in 1939 uh, by Bert, Bert Dillon, and uh, is one of the first few flies, if not the first fly, that was developed exclusively for uh, hickory shad. Um, because of that, we're going to tie it on a slightly smaller hook, and uh, I've chose a size number 8, Mustad 3366A, and that is in the vise right now. And I'm going to be tying the fly with 6 aught uni thread and a white. Uh, so first off, I'm going to go ahead and lay down a base of thread, start about a hook eyes back, and take our thread down to the barb. Tail calls for some gold, golden pheasant tippet, so I'm just going to use a, a small tippet off of this neck, and we really just need kind of the center section of that tippet. So I'm going to peel most of these fibers away, most of the barbs away. Looks pretty good. Now you want the orange side to face up and you want uh, this inside man to black to basically be sitting on the bend of the fly. I'm going to try to do a loose wrap. That looks pretty good. And this, uh, this golden pheasant always wants to roll on me so I, I usually take it up with the stem um, all the way up to where we started and then snip that. Then we can take it back. Back down to the tail. And next we're going to tie in the silver tinsel and that'll be our ribbing. Just have a, a thin silver tinsel. Peel off maybe six or eight inches of that. Try that again. <laughs> and tie that in at the back of our fly. And for our body, we are going to use some fine white chenille. This is a very narrow diameter chenille. And I like to tie that in the length of the body, but starting, starting at the tail. That way you end up with the consistent thickness of your body, not a hump at the back. like that. And then we'll take our chenille and wrap the body. Good tight wraps. And you want to bring the chenille up about a hook eye's length behind the eye. I'm sorry, yeah, an eye's length behind the eye. capture our chenille. And 
and we'll trim that away. Next we're going to advance our tensile forward and create a segmented body um, with our tensile as a ribbing. We get three to four good wraps. And then trim away our excess tensile. And for the wing, we're going to be tying in some white cast tail or kip tail. <clears throat> like a fairly sparse wing. So cut out a section about that thick. Hold it by the tips. Pull away all of the short hairs. So you end up with a nice, sparse, but consistent length wing. And I like to tie it in on the side, a couple loose wraps and then just move the wing up and then you can adjust the length like that and you want the length of the wing to be at the tail. That looks about right. Some additional wraps forward. And then we'll trim off our tag of the kip tail. And then we'll build up a nice little head. Looks pretty good. We'll just give a whip finish. And trim our thread. And we'll just touch the head with some Sally Hansons to protect the wraps. And that is the Burt Dillon Shadfly, also called the Chesapeake Bay Shadfly. Super easy pattern to tie up. You can tie up a mess of those pretty quickly. Very buggy. Sure it'll be a great fly on the water this year. Enjoy.